Hi everyone, my name is Victor. I'm here at Legion Field in Birmingham, where tonight we saw Atlanta United win 3 2 with goals from Ezequiel Barco, Adam John, and Mateo Rosetto. Uh, Rosetto obviously scoring his first goal in his first game with Atlanta United. And it was a good turnout for this preseason game, about 6,000 and, change, and some change uh, with the attendance here tonight. Uh, tonight, after the game, we got to talk to Frank DeBoer after the game, and he also gave us an update on George Bello who suffered a head injury during the match in the second half and he did not come back from it. And this is what Frank De Boer had to say. We're gonna check him of course and we have no information yet so we have to wait. Is that even what the injury was? Well, he had a very uh, yeah, knock on his head, you know, back of his head. Okay. So uh, we have to wait. I cannot give you any more information. Okay. Uh, the team 10 days away <laughs> from Champions League. How do you think that the preparation is going with the performance and result tonight? Oh, I think the first half, uh, I think we, we controlled quite a good game and we had some uh, small chances, one uh, really good one with, uh, with Joseph, of course, uh, maybe some weak shots, you know, uh, from around 18 yards, something like that, but uh, I think it was, it was quite okay. Maybe they could have uh, been, uh, had a penalty, I don't know, uh, in the first half, so uh, that was maybe the only dangerous thing that they did, but uh, yeah, I think uh, I saw, you know, with Anton on the left wing, I think he did it really well, you know, so uh, I, was, I was pleased with what I saw, and of course, uh, normally you want to let them play more minutes, but you know, we have uh, in three days to play in Mexico, and yeah, there are the majority of the team that started going to play uh, 90 minutes at that moment. Uh, Campbell and Rosetto, how do you think they did today? Uh, start with uh, George. I feel he started a little bit nervous, I think, uh, with some passing, you know, sloppy passes. But then uh, he came really get into the game and uh, he can look back for a good performance. I think uh, Rosetta did uh, really well. Uh, you see that he's comfortable on the ball. He made a great goal, of course. And uh, yeah, you see that, you know, everything is, you know, what you see from him is, is quality, what I saw, you know. And uh, so I, I think we're, we're going to have a lot of uh, pleasure with him, you know, in our roster. We also had the opportunity to talk to George Campbell and Jake Morani, who uh, they saw some, both of them saw some action in the second half. Obviously, George Campbell started the game actually for Atlanta United, given that Mesa was not able to uh, compete today. Really comfortable on the ball, uh, made some good passes. How do you think you performed tonight? Uh, I think it was okay. Um, obviously, there's a lot of things to work on. I thought a lot of passes could have been sharper, um, but I think it all starts with uh, experience and confidence. And as I go into playing with the team, I'll just get better as I go along. You talked about communication as being one of the things that you wanted to work on. How was that out there? Um, I try my best to communicate. Obviously, it's a lot different from training to a game because it's loud and sometimes you can't hear. Um, but, I mean, as a whole, I think I need to get louder and just more vocal. And that also starts with confidence. So. Yeah, Frank said he liked that you were making decisions when you had the ball. You weren't always doing the easiest thing. Um, I guess that's got to be gratifying to hear. Yeah, yeah. Um, and obviously, so like again, like sometimes even there's even more passes I thought I could have done, and right. uh, that starts with confidence. Um, but I think overall, I just need to make sure those passes are even sharper, so uh, puts my teammates in a good position when I give them the ball. Did you see what happened on Bellows injury? No, I don't know. Because y'all were on that scrum on that corner kick, and it was hard to tell. Yeah, no, I, I, didn't, I didn't see it. Okay. Uh, Frank also told us that Mesa is going to make the trip to Mexico to play in, his, in Atlanta's last preseason game. And then after that, it'll be CONCACAF Champions League for Atlanta United. Uh, they'll be traveling to Honduras to face Motagua after that in the first round of the CONCACAF Champions League. My name is Victor, and this is, uh, this is it here from Birmingham. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.